What's up, y'all? This is Penny. And listen, today I got five quick tips and tricks on how to better improve your iPad video editing workflow, right? Things that will help take your professionalism when it comes to video editing to that next level. It's gonna be quick, hopefully, and <laughs> we gotta get straight into it right now. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Number one, custom intros and outros. Now, a ton of people have been asking me, how did I do my outro on the videos that I create every week? And what process did it take to get that onto LumaFusion to be able to edit and have that every week? And I'm gonna show you real quick. I Googled, you know, uh, custom video outros uh, using Instagram and all of that. And I came up with a After Effects template. And of course, I'm gonna leave that template down in the description. Now it's fairly simple if you have a Mac or a PC to be able to run a After Effects trial on. It's just as simple as going to Adobe, getting that After Effects trial and loading up this template. And then from there, taking the template and applying all your you know, social media graphics or whatever, your picture uh, to this template and then exporting it as a 4K file. That's basically all I did. Now, I don't know After Effects that well and somebody like you might not know After Effects either. But you know, getting to it, understanding that you can just drag and drop and replace what's in the template to make it your own, that's basically how I had that set up. And there's a ton of them out there. The biggest thing is just to get that file and have it directly into uh, your LumaFusion folder to be able to just drag and drop that on any video that you like. Number two. Speaking of using a Mac or PC, is how I back up my files on LumaFusion. Now, I know inside of LumaFusion, there's a backup utility that'll back up, you know, a specific session, a specific video that you're working on. But what happens if you just wanna back up all the things that you did in a quarter, in a month, in a week, right? Uh, let me show you exactly what I do to back up my files regularly. Now, what I use is something like this. This is a Seagate four terabyte regular hard drive. It's about 80 to 100 bucks and it has a lot of storage on it. The reason why I use these types of drives is so that I can just continuously back up, you know, my files and my folders. Usually I do it every couple of months, but um, that's just because I have a one terabyte iPad Pro. Now what I'll do is I'll take that hard drive, plug it into the Mac back there and also plug in my iPad directly into my Mac as well. Now, a lot of people will say, why can't you just do this, you know, plugging up the hard drive directly to uh, the iPad? And what I've found is the transfer speeds going in between the hard drive and the iPad directly using that USB type C port isn't as fast and is, you know, I just wanna make sure that I'm accurate with my transfers and make sure that I have every single file. So if it said I had 417 gigabytes of footage there, I wanna be able to look at my computer and know that I've transferred 417 gigabytes on that hard drive. And so what I'll normally do is just say, okay, this is LumaFusion backup, October 2020, and then I'll take the entire LumaFusion folder and back it up directly to that hard drive. And that's kind of how I categorize it. Now, if I need to bring a file back, you know, it's easy, it's just doing the same process in reverse. And so that's just an easy way for me to back up these files and know that if I don't have as much space on an iPad, that I can definitely get, you know, files over and over and over backed up and being able to work efficiently with my iPad Pro. Number three, I've talked about this many times before, but sometimes it needs to be introduced in a new video. It's just using an app like Procreate to animate and do other effects on top of your videos. What I do is I open up Procreate and I create a blank file with no background, right? And then from there, I hit screen record on my iPad and draw or animate whatever I want to, you know, write on for a specific video. Once I have it all set, and uh, I like the way it's looking, I end the screen recording, and then I bring that screen recording into LumaFusion. And then from there, all I have to do is bring that file into LumaFusion, key and crop out the things that I don't want, and then from there, all I have is a clean drawing, clean annotated text that I can use, that I can slow down, that I can speed up, and that's kinda how I do the logos or any type of titles. It's just a great way to add another layer of professionalism and you know, fun and spice to your videos. 
Now, number four is importing files directly into LumaFusion. Now, I know a lot of people will import their files directly into the Photos app, right? If you're using a camera like this or using an external camera, you gotta think about how you're exporting your files. And this goes back to, you know, being able to know exactly what folders and files you're working with and where, the, where your files are. What I do is use my SD card reader and then I open up files. And there I select my files and then I copy them into a new folder inside of LumaFusion's user media folder. So it's user media folder and then you create a new folder and then from there, you know, you type in whatever it is, like this video, five tips and tricks on video editing. Uh, I'll create a folder like that, drag all the files into there, and then I know exactly where my files are for that video. And then when I go to export or backup, I know exactly, you know, what files are where, and I just don't have a list of a whole bunch of video files inside my user media folder in LumaFusion. Just a great way to organize and get your files ready for editing. And number five, setting up custom user presets inside of LumaFusion. Now I know a lot of you might already have things like this set up, but for those of you just getting started, just trying to understand LumaFusion and all how it works, you can set user presets for your colors, the way you want things set up. I use it on every single video. Now, of course I have my own custom presets that I'm selling on my website, link right here. But also I've done videos where you can learn how to create your own user presets as well as just getting everything set up the way you want, the colors, the sharpness, everything that you like about a specific video, specifically things like this talking head video where you're constantly having that kind of same look. You wanna keep a consistent look of your videos, right? So all I do is take the video that I wanna create the preset from, I double tap that video, and then I go into the color selector, right? From there, I either start with a LUT, which is a lookup table that kind of gives me the overall look for my video. And then from there, I use LumaFusion's original color preset. I kind of dial it in exactly how I want. And depending on your camera, you might want to add sharpening, you might want to add vignetting. It's all up to you. I would say all of these things you do with just a little bit of taste. It's just kind of like seasoning, right? Making sure you're not overly doing it with the colors, overly doing it with sharpness, vignetting, whatever, brightness, just make sure it kind of looks natural and neat if that's what you're going for. And then from there, there's a star icon that you press, create and name that preset, and then you already have that ready to go. You can paste it on every file that you have that specific look for, and it just makes it super easy for you to have that workflow and keep that same consistent look. But that's it, y'all. That's the five tips and tricks on how to improve your video editing workflow on your iPads and iOS devices. I hope you got something out of that. And definitely hit me in the comment section below if you got any other questions based on these tips and tricks or if you have any yourself that you want to help the community with. I hope you are staying healthy, staying happy, staying safe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. And I'm out!